We did the surgery, we're about two hours after the surgery now. I just saw the patient. She's a lovely young lady and she's in pain because I did her augmentation under the muscle. It's painful when you stretch the muscle, it's very painful. And she's getting a narcotic to hold the pain uh, in this early first several hours after the surgery. After about eight to 10 hours, the pain subsides and there's just a general feeling of discomfort significant discomfort along the entire chest wall. That takes two weeks to subside and then the, about one month, the patient's feeling like they can use the upper extremities and use the chest muscles without inter interference with pain. So the overall recovery, patients frequently say, what is the recovery for breast augmentation? Well, significant discomfort for the first several hours or day, moderate discomfort for the first week to 10 days, and then acceptable, acceptable discomfort for the first month. But if you look at the patient, because of the swelling that occurs after the surgery, and it's significant size, the operative field is significant, the actual placement, position, and appearance of the augmentation will not readily be seen until 60 to 90 days after surgery. They're still swelling, and the implants have to fall down or settle into their natural position along the lower fold of the breast. And that takes over a month for that to happen. So frequently I'll tell the patient, please don't consider the end result after two weeks, three weeks, because we still know there's a recovery period before they're gonna look absolutely perfect with their surgery. Um, in that period of time, we also tell them not to allow their, if they have children, not to allow the children onto their chest. So they have to take some precautions during that period. They can swim after two to three weeks after surgery and partake in other activities at about the same time. Breast augmentation is rarely performed as an inpatient. These patients have, the surgery time is approximately one hour. They stay in the surgical facility for approximately two to three hours and then they dis, they're discharged to home. In this case, our patient is from out of town and she'll be at a local hotel and I'll see her again tomorrow. Should she have any problems tonight, she'll know to call me directly on my cell phone.